Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Nye, and this is Slay the Renee Way, a place where passionate entrepreneurs can come to grow, glow, and succeed in their small businesses. So if that sounds like you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because your girl is dropping gym after gym after gym. Today I got another gym for you guys. We're going to be talking about how you can build a website online for free with no website design experience or coding needed. If you're ready to start selling your products online, and you need a little bit of a place to start, I've got you covered. I do have a website design and playlist. If you do want to use another one of these e-commerce platforms, you can go ahead and check out that playlist right here. But today we're going to be talking about Squarespace. Squarespace is an online e-commerce platform where you can actually design a website, start selling your products, and they have a free plan available. So if you're excited for this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and let's jump right into the tutorial. So like I said, we are going to be using Squarespace.com. So if you go to SquareUp.com, here's what the homepage of the website will look like. Power your entire business. You can sell anywhere. Diversify all of your revenue streams. Streamline your operations and manage your staff. There are a ton of different things that you can do with Squarespace, just like you can with Shopify or Wix. Only thing is, we're saving some money and we're doing this 100% free today. So to get started, what we're going to do is click this Get Started button here at the right hand side. Once you click that button, it's going to take you into a let's create your account. If you do not have an account, here's where you will create your account. So you'll just enter your email, your password, and then we'll continue on to the next step. Okay, so once you're signed in or you've created your account, this is the screen that you are going to see. We are going to create a free branded website for all of your online services. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down and click that get started button. And I'm going to take you guys through the tutorial really simply. After you hit get started, it's going to take you to this page that says, tell us what you're selling online. So we're going to click a physical item, but they also have options such as donations. If you're looking for like a charity based online business, um, if you're doing memberships, they have that um, subscriptions and services like haircuts and hair repairs, consultations. They have tickets, conferences, sports, and they also have menu items for like retail restaurants, pizza, sushi, fresh meals, and drinks, okay? If none of those apply to you, they do have a box down here on the right-hand corner you can select. But like I said, for this example, we're going to do a clothing store. So we're going to continue. How do you plan to fulfill your orders? Let us know how you plan to get items to the buyers. Are you going to ship them, allow pickup, allow delivery, or self-serve ordering, Okay. These are a bunch of different options, but for today, we're going to ship our items. So click the ship items button, and then we're going to go to continue. Everything is pretty self-explanatory up until this point. So now they're going to build you a storefront template that we can actually customize for free. After you have selected those couple of different options, now we're at the get started with the plan option. We have a free plan, which we're going to be using. It's completely free. There's no monthly subscription, but you will have to pay a transaction fee. So it's going to be 2.9% plus 30% of every order that you do receive. This just makes sure that Squarespace is able to get their money while you're able to make your money, but there's no monthly subscription. So don't worry about that. Now with the free plan, we are going to be able to sync with the Square point of sale system and the KDS. You can do pickup, local delivery and shipping. You can also link this to your social so that you're able to sell online. They also have several different payment methods, which I know a lot of you guys are going to ask about that. You can do Afterpay, Cash App, SquarePay, Google Pay, Apple Pay. There's a lot of different pay options for the free plan, which I love that personally. So let's go ahead and click the free plan and then we're going to click continue. Here is what your dashboard is going to look like. I'm going to walk you guys through everything that we are seeing here and how you can get started with designing. So over here on the left hand side, you're going to see the name of your business at the top. I've picked Slay the Renee Way as the website. So you have an overview. You have your website tab where you can edit your website. You can select your domain. There is an items tab where you can go through all of the different site items on your website. Um, site items, site categories, coupons, gift cards, customer reviews, the sync of your items, and then we have orders. Analytics, site traffic, how many orders you're getting, how many carts are not fulfilled or people are not making it to checkout. All those things are going to be included with this free plan. So, okay, so now we're in our overview tab. It says, let's get your site set up. So first things first, log. first they want you to add an item to sell. Add an item to start selling online. Include photos and descriptions to grow your sales. So you can do that first. Then they want you to set up your shipping profile. And then we will do the setup of our design. So let's go ahead and work on our online catalog. Keep in mind, you guys, this is an example. So we're going to use an example photo, example product, things like that. Okay, so we're going to click the add an item to sell button. And it's going to take us to our product catalog. Okay, so sell items online. Add items you'd like to start selling on this site. Go ahead and click that create new item button. 
you have a couple different options. You can create a brand new item. You can create items from a delivery service. So if you're doing like DoorDash, Uber Eats, or something like that, this will be for restaurant business owners. All right, now here's what our item catalog looks like, you guys. You can actually decide whether or not your item is physical, if it's an event, if it's a digital for a digital download, if this is a service. So if you're in the beauty industry and you're doing lashes, makeup, nails, things like that, you want to select service. If this is a donation, you want to select that. Also, if you're doing memberships or things like that, you can also select membership. So this is obviously a physical item. So we're not going to change anything, but I did want to show you guys those, um, those different options. So now your item title. We're going to call our item Pink Crew Neck. This is just an example. So the price of this sweater, I'm going to name $25. Um, very straightforward. You can say your description. If you have not seen the video where I just talked about how you can actually create your product descriptions using ChatGPT and AI, make sure you guys go check out that video because I'm about to do it right now so that we can actually get a good product description for this product that we're trying to sell. So I'm not going to give the tutorial, make sure you go check that video out. Shoppers be receiving this item. We're going to click shipping because this is going to be something that you order online and then ship directly to your home. You will want to enter your shipping weight of your products. So. If this is in pounds, we're going to put like 0.5 pounds. And for stock, you want to make sure that you know how many items you have in stock. And we're going to click track the stock so that you know how much you actually have. Say we have 15 sweaters. Update the stock. Every time you sell an item, your stock will automatically change and update. So now we're going to slide down to variations. If you want to include different sizes, styles, colors, sense of things this is where you would do that at so click add variation so we're going to put small and then we're going to make medium we're going to put large any different variations that you have for your specific product that's where you want to put that oh, excuse that typo so now you have the option to change how many you have in stock of each different product so if you're selling um only five smalls, you want to make sure that you update that stock to say five. Same thing with your mediums, if you only have five mediums and then you have five large. Okay, so this is super important so that you keep track of your inventory. Now if your pricing is going to change per style or size or color variation of your product, here's where you would do that as well. So our smalls are $20, our mediums are $25 and our larges are $25 as well. Same thing with the weight. You want to make sure that each different item has their weight attached to it so that when you go to ship it, you have the most accurate product shipping weight. Okay, you'll get the most accurate um, shipping label price. Here's something that a lot of free online website platforms do not allow, but Square Up does. So manage your modifiers. So if we're selling different sweaters that have different mom slogans or something like that, you can add different mom text. You can add mom. You can actually have your customer insert something into a text box and then they will be able to customize it that way. So let's go ahead and click save. Um, next we're going to go down to click done. We're done with our modifiers. Lastly you guys, we're going to get into the SEO of all the different products. SEO is search engine optimization. So if you do want your product to be able to be searched using a search engine like Google or YouTube, you want to make sure that your keywords are going to be very very clear and specific. So a permalink which basically is a short and simple uh, attachment to your product. So this product item name is Pink Sweater. We're going to put Pink Dash Sweater. And the SEO title. This is going to be what your type, this is going to be what your customers are looking for in search results. So think about some items that your customer might be searching for. Put those words in the SEO title. Pink crew neck sweater. Simple like that. Same thing with your Description, you want to make sure that you're including things that someone may be searching for in Google. That way your item may pop up for them. So now click save and I think we're done with that part. Okay, lastly we need to go ahead and add our photo. Okay, so I just got a random stock photo of a pink crew neck sweater. This is what we're going to use for our product, okay? So now we're done with everything as far as adding our first product to our website. Now let's move on to the next step. So now we are 30% complete with our website. Next, what we need to do is go in to set up our shipping rates. This is going to be complicated, but they do have a lot of guides and steps for you. I'm also going to walk you through it, so don't worry. Let's do it. Set up your shipping rates. Okay, so get stuff to your shoppers. Set up your shipping so that whenever you're shipping an item, your customer is actually paying for the shipping and it's not coming out of your pocket. So select the location to pull your inventory from. Our store name is Slay the Renee Way. 
Okay, so then you're gonna see the shipping carriers. PS, USPS, FedEx, and DHL. We're gonna select whichever shipping carrier you decide to work with. Okay, so USPS is automatically connected. If you decided to work with UPS or FedEx, you will have to connect your account to those. But for our shipping profile, we wanna go ahead and click set up. We're gonna just name this standard shipping, okay? So this is gonna be our standard shipping profile. So this is default for every single item if this is how you choose to set it up. For every single item, you will have standard shipping. You're gonna select which countries you will ship to. I'm gonna be shipping to the US. And for the rates of that, we're gonna add a rate. I wanna do a flat rate for all of my orders. I wanna just charge $5. I'm gonna select standard. How much are you trying to charge? $5. I feel like that's just a fair price for shipping labels. Um, and this is charge port per order. Now, if you're charging shipping per item, you also have the option. I highly recommend just charging it per order so that it's simple for your customers and yourself. So now click done and save. We created our first shipping profile just like that. It was very simple. So now with your shipping boxes, you will go in and measure all of your boxes. Make sure that you are putting your items inside the box so that you can weigh it and get an accurate weight of what your product is like inside of the box, okay? So for example, you have a 10 by 10 box. It's default and the max weight is 70 pounds. Since I am going to know what my box size is, I'm going to insert that here, 9 by 6 by 4, and the maximum weight of my packages will probably be 2 pounds, okay? Click Save, and then if you want to create several different options, you can create new and do that as many times as you need to. Now we're done with creating our shipping profiles for the most part. If you want to create your printer settings, you can do that as well. If you're using 4 by 6 inch labels for like a label printer, if you need a label printer video or where to get a label printer, I have several videos up here that you can go and check out. But if you're using a standard inkjet or laser printer, you also can include your 8x5 and 11 inch printer format. So I'm going to do the thermal label printers. And um, that's pretty much it for that, you guys. Now we're going back to our overview tab since we're done with our shipping rates and everything like that. The last thing we need to do is design our website. So now we want to click the site design tab. We're going to click design your website. This is a fun part, you guys. This part we've all been waiting for. So once you're in the site design tab, it's going to wait while they build your site. They're going to start us off with a couple of different templates and things based on what we have selected previously in our initial account setup. Your style for your website. Start by picking an overall site style, then make it your own by customizing the fonts, colors, and shapes and things that best reflect your brand. Squarespace has a lot of different templates and they are all very, very easy to work with and they're all really nice and professional if you ask me. So here are some of the templates, you guys. They're showing you it in a, in a phone format, which I prefer because nine times out of ten, your customer is using their phone to shop. So we have this one here. This one looks pretty nice. Um, all of them have different setups, different colors will look like. Nice. Okay, here's what another side of it will look like with our product. And I kind of like this, so let's go ahead and click Customize and let's get into it. Okay, so when you first get into your site design, you already picked your site style. So the next thing that we need to do is add a logo. You obviously want to make sure that you have a logo for your website. This way your brand is completely branded and your customers know whose website they are on and what your brand represents. So I'm going to go ahead and get a logo, our logo colors, and the fonts. We can choose all those different things right here in Squarespace. So let me go ahead and add a logo. Okay, so we've just selected a logo. I've got a random logo that I used from a video. This is our logo. Now, if you have your brand colors, here's where you will insert your brand colors. If you're using Canva to design anything, they will always make sure that they give you the hex code, these little numbers and combination of letters right here. You wanna make sure that all of your brand colors match across everything. So you can insert your colors. They will allow you to select secondary colors and you can also click these template styles. They will change up the entire template of your website using all of your brand colors. So you can switch it up occasionally if that's something that you choose to do. Now with our fonts, you can go ahead and select different font styles that you like. They have a lot of different good options. Um, we're going to use this one here. Okay, we've got a cursive font and then we have a regular sans serif font. You can change the way that your font looks across your website. So for your titles, you can select a different style font if you wanted to. And you also can change the weight of them. Um, you also can add custom fonts if you do upgrade. But for the free version, they will give us fonts that we can work with. Now for the shapes, this was it gets nice. 
you can actually customize the shapes of your website and how the shapes appear on your website. So they have different buttons and different um, icons and stuff on your website. If you like a more rounded edge, you can select rounded. As you can see, when we can select sharp, it changes our button book now to a sharp edge. Then we have a pill shape. Same thing with the images. If you like a more rounded shape, you can do that or a sharp edge. I'm going to leave everything as is. Here's where you can get creative, you guys, and customize things to your liking. Um, it's very simple. Now you're going to click done because we're done with the actual site design. So for your domain, I do have a video if you want to get into how you can purchase a custom domain for your website for very affordable. Um, also, you can actually select the domain from Squarespace, but you will need to upgrade your account for a custom domain. So since we are just using our free website, they're going to provide us with a subdomain for free, which is going to end in .square.site, which is perfectly fine for anyone who's just started selling your website. Eventually, once you start to collect orders and make revenue, you can upgrade later. So I'm going to leave it as slaytherenayway.square.site. Okay, so now you can actually click onto your website and this is where you'll be able to actually customize what the text of the website says, things like that. So I'm going to change this to shop our cozy, shop our cozy wear, something like that. You can actually customize everything on your website by actually clicking it. If you want to change the view from a mobile view to a desktop view, you can do that up here. Here's what your desktop site looks like. Um, I do recommend making sure that you work on your mobile site since everything that does today needs to be mobile friendly. Most of us are using our mobile websites. For your email newsletter, which I love that you can actually get an email newsletter for free with using Squarespace, you can customize how this looks on your website. If you don't want your whole website to have a black background, you want certain elements to pop of white, to have a pop of pink, you can do that as well. Um, with your emails, you can make sure that you put um, what you want to say so if you want if you want the button to actually include email inside of it right here it will say email or you can put enter your email or something like that your sign up button can say get news or something like that everything is completely customizable I'm just showing you guys examples change the color of the form field if you want to subscribe or thank you for signing up for our newsletter all that is done right here so location and hours if you don't want any of these options on your website, you can actually just click and click these three dots and you can you can actually click this trash can icon right here. If you want, don't want to have a location and hours on your website, you can click different items and add them, drag them and drop them around. So say you wanted to include your Instagram feed on your website, you can actually just pick Instagram feed and now you're going to be able to sign into your Instagram and link that Instagram profile directly to your website. That is super inclusive, you guys. That will make sure that whoever is risen to your website can find you on social media or vice versa. So I love that feature. Um, you can change the text of your website if you wanted to add a text box. You can do that. Um, you can add text and image. Say you have a gallery and you want to include a gallery photo and you got text underneath. You can do all those different things. They also include video options. So. For myself, since I am on YouTube, if I wanted to include a YouTube video, a short or a TikTok or anything like that, you can get a behind the scenes making of the products onto your website. Everything is user friendly and everything is really easy to work with. So I'm not going to do too many more steps in this. I did just want to show you guys how you can actually work with this. But since we are using the website design, we can go ahead and preview it. Here's what our website will look like. Use your domain. And then your domain name will actually be utilized with your website. Anytime somebody check out, that's what they would do. So now that you're done with that, that's pretty much it for this, you guys. So after you've done designing your website and make sure that everything is branded and looks the way that you want it to and you feel satisfied with what you have, you will go ahead and publish your website. And that is pretty much it for how you can set up, work with your website using Square Up or Squarespace. It's really simple and straightforward. If I did go over something too quickly or you need more information, go ahead and comment that down below. I will do a part two to this video, but this is a basic step to get you guys started. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss when I drop another gym. Love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.